Donald Trump is on a mission to gaslight the United States into a civil war. He has created a climate where racist white nationalists feel comfortable attacking law-abiding citizens. Heck, he recently admitted he is a nationalist. He's not hiding it anymore. That's why his racist supporters feel freer than ever to spread white power hate. In recent weeks, the racist gang The Proud Boys jumped a bunch of protesters in New York City. A few days ago, the extremist right-wing podcast The Road to Power was behind a disgusting robocall that dehumanized Tallahassee Mayor Andrew Gillum, the Democratic candidate for governor. The message makes Gillum sound like an uneducated black person. Well, hello there. I is the Negro Andrew Gillum, and I be axing you to make me governor of this here state of Florida, and this week, law enforcement authorities were scrambling to find out who mailed suspicious packages, some allegedly containing pipe bombs, to the residences of billionaire George Soros, former President Barack Obama, and former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, as well as the offices of reps. Maxine Waters and Debbie Wasserman Schultz, the New York headquarters of CNN, and, just this morning, liberal actor Robert De Niro and former Vice President Joe Biden. Because the targets are leaders of the Democratic Party and Trump's most hated enemies, don't be surprised if the suspect looks like Oklahoma City bomber Timothy McVeigh. Packages remind me of the days when the Ku Klux Klan used bombs to discourage black people from fighting for their civil rights. Hell, Ron DeSantis, Trump's homeboy and Gillum's Republican opponent, it is the second coming of David Duke. He surrounds himself with racists, was an administrator of a racist Facebook page, and has made not so subtle racist digs about his opponent. As Gillum said during last night's second gubernatorial debate, the racists think he's a racist. Meanwhile, Trump continues holding rallies, where he encourages his base to use violence against liberals and the media. He let them know he thinks it's cool that a Republican candidate for Congress body slammed a reporter for asking a question. He is pretending to hold the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia accountable for the horrific murder of journalist and legal U.S. President Jamal Khashoggi. Trump is following the lead of dictators against whom the United States is supposed to defend us. For Trump, the midterm elections are just a warm-up for the chaos he plans to unleash during the 2020 presidential campaign. He wants Americans to kill one another at the polls. Expect an all-out civil war if this clown doesn't get impeached before then. Follow Luke on Twitter at UncleLKRayal1, and listen to his podcast. Follow Facebook, Luther Campbell Twitter, at UncleLKRayal1.